Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video, and this is actually a reaction to, well, a video that probably looks quite familiar, because I've done a lot of these reactions before, but I realised I didn't do one of them, and it's obviously American versus British English, 40 differences. This is one of those sort of first videos that got me into, like, the sort of differences in, like, language and stuff. And again, I'm surprised I haven't seen this one before, but, um, yeah, we're going to check it out. Hopefully you're going to enjoy. The language videos always seem to go down well, so I'm always down to do more, as long as there are more. Oh, well, I'm getting indigestion. Um, but you're just going to get into this, hopefully you're going to enjoy. Links are in the description to my new channel if you want to subscribe to that. New content, new different styles of content, completely different to this channel will be posted there. So again, if you're interested, links are there. Same for Patreon, for those interested in seeing new reactions or reactions that get blocked on YouTube. It's all there too, but we're just going to jump into this. Okay, I'm going to show you 40 pictures of food or food related items. And I just want you to tell me what you see. Okay. <coughs> What's this? Ice line. It's an ice lolly. Come on. What's that? Porridge. Oatmeal. It's a bowl of porridge to me. Looks like a bowl of porridge. Is oatmeal the oats or is it what it's called when it's cooked? When it's cooked. Oatmeal makes more sense to be honest. No, because we call it porridge here, but it is oats. But the actual packaging is even porridge too. But yeah, the US one makes more sense because it is literally oats. Oatmeal. That's a skillet. And what frying do you pan? use that for? Frying things. We call that a frying pan. Makes sense. A skillet? What is that? A crock pot. A crock pot. Crock pot. We would call that a slow cooker. I think crock pot is the okay. brand. What's that? A pot. We would call that a saucepan. Saucepan, yeah. Silverware. Cutlery. Confectioner sugar. Icing sugar, which is basically very, very, very fine sugar. Beet. Oh, it's like the snow looking one, isn't it? Beetroot. Beetroot. Beet. What's that? Herbs. Herbs. We pronounce the H. Herbs. We don't. Arugula. Rocket. Delicious Rocket. salads. Rocket's nice, but when it's like too much, it can overpower the food. I do like it, but when it's too much, bro, it can overpower it and just make it taste disgusting. But overall, if used correctly, it is banging. Quite like spicy, banging, I can't lie. Leaf. Cilantro. Coriander? Coriander. Hate it. Oregano. Oregano. Oregano so yeah. same word, but it's pronounced differently. So what do you say again? Oregano. Oregano. We say oregano. <laughs> Basil. 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 Again, same word, basil, basil. So we would say basil, you would say... Basil. What's this? What are these? Cupcakes. Cake. And what's on top of them? Frosting. Sprinkles. Frosting. What's... Well, we would call that icing. It looks like chocolate oh. icing. So we would it's never use... frosting. We would oh, never icing. use the word frosting. Wait, is icing not a word in the US then? Frosting. Do you call it frosting or is icing just used in different terms? Because to be honest, I wouldn't call this chocolate icing. Because I, I don't really consider chocolate icing icing. Icing is like more thick for me. I wouldn't call this icing. I don't know what I would call it. But... Icing. It looks like chocolate icing. So we would never chocolate use. Frosting. We would never use the word frosting. What's never on top of the icing? Frosting. Sprinkles. We would call those hundreds and thousands. Oh. Very British, right? Hundreds and thousands. Sprinkles. So you call them sprinkles. We call them hundreds and thousands. What's this? I don't mean like an old school one. We just say fillet steak. You tend to use the French word, and we just say fillet steak. Do you say fillet steak? No, we don't. What are these? Shrimp. Shrimp prawns. Oh no! What's that? A baked potato. I get confused. <laughs> I get confused. I think I call them. I interchange that one. I think. Yeah. A baked potato. We would say jacket potato. What is so, this? They're good, man. It's a jacket oh, potato. Jacket potato. Do you say jacket potato? No. Is he from Lonely Island? What's the Who's this guy? What's this guy's name? He's not from Lonely Island, but what's he? Is he from Lonely Island? I know this is completely irrelevant, but I just got to see this. Lone... It is him. Him. I don't know. What's his name? Because I know who he is, but I can't remember his name. Oh, I know who he is. He's really fucking famous, but I can't remember his damn name. It's potato. Do you say jacket potato? No. What's the jacket potato wrapped in? Aluminum foil. We'd call tin that foil. tin foil, or maybe <laughs> aluminium foil, but probably tin foil. Okay, so we would call this cider. Beer what cider, would you call yeah. this? We would call that hard cider. Why hard? Why do you add the word hard? Because it has alcohol. Oh, so anything with alcohol is hard cider. And if it's not got alcohol in it, then it's just cider, but it's made from apples. Exactly. Okay. So you have huh? apple cider, and then you have hard apple cider. And hard apple cider contains alcohol. Exactly. Which we would just oh, call wow. cider. Okay, what's this? Seltzer. 
Sparkling water. Oh, spa <laughs> sparkling okay. water. Spirits. Spirits. So in England, we drink a lot of this stuff. This takes me right back to my childhood. I What's this called again? What's it called? Squash. Orange squash. I would have a glass of this sugary stuff every couple of hours, to be honest. It's basically very, very sweet fruit juice, which you dilute with water. Does this exist in America? No, that would so, just be juice. juice. Okay, we'd call it squash, like fruit what? squash. What? So you, wait, in the US, he must be wrong. You don't have the sort of, you have a strong concentration of this drink. You pour a little bit in a cup and then you mix it with lots of water. That's got to be a thing in the US. I don't, I think maybe she got confused. Surely it is. In an English menu, you'd have starters, main course, and then dessert. Unless you just call it what juice. Would you sometimes, maybe not always. What would you often call the main course? Entrees. Is that at all restaurants or just kind of quite posh Entree. Ones? Most restaurants. Most will restaurants have call that. Entree. We'll call See, it we entree. would never use that, and I guess that's never heard it before. Word. So in the UK, you would not get entree. You would not hear that word entree so much. Cookies. Biscuits. biscuits. But I'd call them ones cookies. To be biscuits. fair. Biscuits. Scones. Are those biscuits? They look like scones to me. No, they're not what? scones, man. They're scones, bro. There's an argument in the UK about this as well. Scones, it's scones, man. I mean, again, in the US you call them biscuits, but they're not even scones, man. They're scones. Wait, that, bro. Don't get me started. In school, we used to always have arguments about what you'd say, what you'd call this shit. Even within the UK, we have two variants on this one. Oh, word. So there we go. Some people call them scones. Some people call them scones. So, who knows? Wax paper. Greaseproof paper. What's this? Canned fruit. We would say tinned fruit. You say tinned canned. Fruit, yeah. We say canned. tinned. Hmm, interesting. Cotton candy. Candy floss. Candy floss. Cream puffs. Profiteroles. Profiteroles. Oh, yes, man. Bro, these are go to, bro. Now, these are the best, like, creation ever. I'm not going to lie. I don't have them often because they're bad for you, but when I do, man, I spoil myself. But cream puffs. So if you said profiterol, profiteroles, which is a hard word for me to say, would people know what it is in the US then? Heavy cream. We'd call that double cream. You would never see this label in England with the word heavy cream. Another thing never, you'd never yeah, see true. is the volume measured in fluid ounces. That's definitely an incredibly American label right there. Nutella. 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 You would say what? Nutella. Nutella. Nutella, you would say man. Nutella. So new and nut, basically. And if you look very carefully, you can actually see. Actually, that label's in Arabic. Look, Karima El Bundak oh. Ma El Cacao. Mm, hazelnut spread with cocoa. Yum. But Nutella's made in the US, so it's probably right to say it the US way. Saltwater taffy. We don't have saltwater taffy. We would just call those toffees. Saltwater taffy is a very southern candy. Like you get in places like Florida, Virginia, Carolinas. Okay, interesting. So you can't get it everywhere. You can't get it in Wisconsin. I mean, you might, but it if you're from be... Wisconsin, leave a comment. Can you get it there? What's this? Candy. Sweets. Sweets, yeah. Eggplant. Aubergine. That's Premier the big foods. one. Premier foods. Say Premier. that one again. Premier. Premier? Oh shit, there's a difference in how we say that as well. Premier. So you put the emphasis on the premier. You put the emphasis on the ear. We say premier. If if I see the sign premier in, I, I say premier in. What do you say? I say premier in. Oh wow. Premier in. Okay. What's that? A zucchini. We would call courgette. courgette. But what my grandma means? used to always say zucchini, so I think it's sort of in my head that it's sort of a, a word that I'll probably say different. I'll say it, I'll switch it around. Although zucchini is what I think when I see it, but I think courgette's what I actually say, which sounds really weird. This is a squash. Greeny, purpley looking right? vegetables. I think. Rutabaga. Rutabaga. We'd call these Swedes. Swedes. Not like a Swedish oh, person, but like Swedes. a Swede. If you have them in Scotland, know. you can have them with haggis. And uh, you, it's you, good you though. Put neeps and tatties, and basically, a ne <laughs> <laughs> what? And you you have them basically. Ne neeps and tatties are like mashed up swede, mashed up potatoes, boiled in salted water, and served alongside haggis, which is basically sheep's heart, liver, and lungs. French fries. Chips. 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 French fries are the the thin Chips. ones for me. Toasty. Toasty. Yeah. Tomato. Wait, the US is grilled cheese. Wait, so is. Cheese. Toasty. If you heard someone call this a toasty, a cheese toasty, like when like me and my girlfriend are making cheese toasties, because sometimes we'll make these with like ham, with cheese or whatever. If you said toasty in the US, would you be like, what the hell are you saying? Or would anyone know what you sort of meant? But you'd still be like, okay, you don't call it that here, mate. Come on now. I feel like it's one of those things that you'd have absolutely no idea what you're saying. Tomatoes. Tomato. 
tomato, tomato, potato, potato. What's that from again? Is that from... I don't know what that's from. But yeah, I enjoyed this. Again, I, I was actually pleasantly surprised when I saw that I hadn't reacted to one of them, but can't complain. US herbs, UK herbs, me, tea. <laughs> I've never called sprinkles hundreds of thousands. <laughs> Bro, when I said sprinkles, I was like, wait, what? I'm British and I've never literally... I think hundreds of thousands is like an old term that was used. Or maybe it is a regional thing. Me, cucumber. What does... Wait, what did I call it? I called it squash, right? What did I call it again? King vegetables. Rutabaga. Rutabaga. We'd call these Swedes. What does squash look like again? Squash. Oh. Vegetable. What does squash look like? I mean, it is still different. Now I know the difference. But I mean, it's kind of. I do know it is a Swede, though. Now I think about it, I do know, and it's good too. <laughs> oh God, I'm dumb, man. <laughs> I can't say. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this one. These ones always seem to go down well, and I always enjoy them. So if you want more of them, suggest them in the comments. And like I said, I made a new channel. If you want to subscribe to that, links are in the description. In the description. I'm struggling to talk, man. But um, we're gonna end it here. Hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time, like subscribe. Peace.